Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm super excited. I was literally so, so, so excited to see this palette and couldn't wait to get my hands on it. This is the Norvina palette. It's the new one by Anastasia. I love all their palettes, the Modern Renaissance, the Soft Glam, those are amazing. Um, I did not get a chance to try the Subculture palette. I know there was a lot of controversy on that palette, but I didn't even buy or bother trying that one out. But I was so excited to see this one. This looks beautiful on the inside. You have all shimmers right here on top and all mattes right here on the bottom. And of course you do get their brush. What do they do with it? These little brushes that come with the palette. I actually really like these. I think this one is a great blending brush and this one's really great for packing on color this side. So it is dual ended. So I think they're, it's a really awesome brush to have with a palette. So let's go ahead and start by swatching them and then we'll go ahead and do a little demo on the eyes. I do already have a full face of makeup on. I have the new, um, new-ish, the Dream Palette right here. I'm obsessed with this packaging. Look how pretty is that? Um, <clears throat> but I have Wish and Regal on my cheeks, so... Can just see that glow right there trying to use the natural sunlight today I wanted to mix up my background so you're looking at my living room in my apartment right now so that's that <coughs> so I'll go ahead and start by swatching um, oh, if I don't blind myself the eyeshadows I did swatch a couple of these already I literally couldn't help myself because I was so excited but I haven't swatched all of them but these are so buttery so this is dreamer can we get a focus right there yeah so let's see if my swatching capabilities have improved so that right there is dreamer like look at that just one little swipe so beautiful that's a true champagne it's got like some multi-dimensional glitter reflex in it the next one is summer this is a true bronze right here like straight gold bronze like super buttery super creamy and pigmented the next one is wild child this one's a little bit more glittery but again still really really pigmented and this is a straight like pink so you can see like look how freaking amazing those colors are like they just swatch so nicely the next one is rose gold not really sure why this is a rose gold this is like a bronze it has some pink reflect to it but it really reminds me of one of the colors from the Anastasia um, the dream glow kit it reminds me a lot of wish how this is kind of a bronze with that purple glitters in it that's very similar to rose gold in this palette but rose gold is much deeper in tone it's like a very true um, brown <coughs> like a metallic brown with reflex of purple and pink in it so that's that one right there the next one is celestial now I was surprised to see this one because in all the pictures that I saw on Instagram on Twitter whatever snapchat this looked very light to me and now this is a very dark purple um, with a lot of pink and blue glitter reflect in it but still like look at those swatches like these are amazing the next one is dazzling so this one so rose gold is definitely darker let me just show you the difference between these let's see yeah rose gold and dazzling so this one is much deeper and it has the pink and the purple this one right here dazzling is like a mix between summer and rose gold and dreamer like if you blended all those together that would give you dazzling but this has a lot of um purple glitters in it but again this is very very metallic so you'll see that right there okay the next one is drama and this is very much a metallic eggplant color And that's drama right there so those are all the metallics you can see though they're super intense um 
metallic colors. They all have lots of glitter in them, but they're super buttery and creamy and super, super pigmented. So I'm sure they'll apply very nicely to the eyes. Now the next one, or the next rose that we have is mattes. So the first one is called base. Now that it looks just that, um, like it would be the perfect base to lay down that first initial color before you go in and blend all the other colors on your eyes. Now up close and in the light, it does look like it has some um, like blue, pink, purple reflect in it, but this is definitely a satin. I would say most of these are actually satins. They all look like they have some of that um, mica-like glitters to them, but they're gonna, of course, come off on your eyes as a matte shadow. Most satins do. Um, let's see, I guess we'll just continue on. So this is base right there. So it's pretty much like the color of my skin tone. Oh, I guess the sun decided to go away so you can get a much better look at the metallics there. Um, the next one is Soul. That's that purple periwinkle. Now this too looked very periwinkle and light to me on all the photos that I saw on Instagram. It is much darker in person. It almost comes off as like a blueberry um, purple, um, especially when you swatch it when it oxidizes. So it comes off, did you see that? Like it kind of faded. It comes off much deeper when you swatch it versus opposed to how it looks in the pan. So let's see, the next one is Incense. This is like one of my all-time favorite colors to blend with. It is just the perfect crease shade. It's a nice deep, not, not too deep, but like a medium toned brown that's warm but can also go cool. It's just that nice neutral brown. And that's this one right here. Like look how freaking creamy like you're seeing these live and in action these swatches are freaking amazing not live but you know what I mean like yeah the next one is love now I love this color I think it's really pretty and unique it's this pink one right here and again this one is definitely a satin it has some mica glitters in it but nothing that would classify it as a metallic it just looks a little sparkly I don't know if you can kind of pick up on that but this is like a mauve pink Again, that's going to come off a little bit deeper, but I just think that's such a unique color um, to have in a palette. I don't know, I just think that's super, super pretty, especially if you want to bring up more pink tones from the purple or to just really you make a pink eye. Um, the next one is a Volatile. This is definitely a cool tone brown right there, but again, super, super pigmented. Like, look at that. That's one, um, whatchamacallit, swatch. The next color is Eccentric. This is a very warm-toned brown. It reminds me a lot of Camel from Bobbi Brown, that single shadow that everyone, like, raves about and is like, oh my god, it's the best transition color ever. It's the best color in the crease. This is pretty much it. It's straightforward, warm, yellow, brown, um, like some mustardy undertones. Like, this color looks how this color swatches in the pan, but this pulls much more warm orange opposed to this one, which was incense. So this one is eccentric. And the last one is passion. This is very warm-toned red-brown right there. What turkey thing? The turkey loaf's in the fridge. So you can see how pigmented here are all the swatches you have six metallics or I'm sorry seven metallics and seven mattes so there are all the eyeshadows right there so now let's see how they wear on the eyes okay so I'm just gonna start by going in with my Sephora Pro Crease number 10 brush and I'm gonna dip into base and I'm just gonna put that all over my um, eye just to do like the transition color. Thanks. Now look how much fallout that has just by tapping into that. Um, you do get like a lot of pigment. You can't really see because of the sunlight. But I mean, for such a neutral color, I can definitely see it on my eyes. 
but it's also the brush keep in mind this is a very fluffy brush so dipping into any color it's going to kind of splatter that color around because it is so fluffy so um, just keep that in mind but again there is still good color payoff so I really want to use this love color so I'm gonna go into love tap into that on a morphe e27 I need to get this freaking mirror off though there it goes okay And I'm going to put that in my crease. No idea. Whoa, pigmentation. Super pigmented. Like, really, really pigmented. This one does have a lot of fallout as well, but... I'm not, I don't really mind fallout though. I mean, if it's going to come off on my eyes and be easy to blend, like, it's just kind of whatever to me. But some people really don't like that. I don't know, should I do like a halo eye or like a cut crease? I really... I don't know what I'm going for here. I don't know. Okay. Um, I do want to go back in with that fluffy brush and just blend out those edges though. Because that was like a crazy pigmented shadow. I'm just going to blend that out there. And I did get some fallout under my eye right here. So I'm just going to sweep that away. When I'm doing tutorials like this too, or if you do your face makeup first, a lot of people will use a setting powder under their eye to catch the fallout. And to me, it makes sense, but it, like, I don't prefer doing it that way because my under eyes are very dry. And so by putting an excess amount of powder there, I feel like it makes my eyes look a lot older than they actually are. So a trick you can also do is to set your under eye as normal and by doing so, that should still set the powder. So um, any fallout should still be able to just kind of sweep away as long as you don't set your face. I think that's a really big misconception as people are doing their whole face and setting their face as usual. But by setting your face, that melts all the powders into your foundations, creams, whatever. So it's going to make that less powdery and it's going to give that fallout something to stick to. So don't set your face first. And if you don't do that, you shouldn't have to use any excess powder and it won't dry out your under eye. If you, just a little, little tip. So if you happen to get fall and you don't want to waste excess product too by baking your under eye. So let's see, next color. I want to do eccentric. Let's go in with eccentric. That's like that warm. No, do I want to do eccentric? Yes, I want to do eccentric. Yeah, no, I don't know. No, let's go into passion. Let's kind of keep it a pinky, pinky theme. So that's that more red brown color. And I'm going to do that on my outer V here. Oh my God. Look, these are so pigmented. Like I am shocked. Like on that. I'm not surprised, but these are really nice. And I just love the color scheme of this palette. Like I love the color story that it has. So I'm just blending this in here. I think maybe I'll just do a cut crease. Or no, maybe I'll do a spotlight eye. I don't know. Oh my gosh. This is what happens when you don't plan before. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. Excuse me. So on the Morphe M167, I also purchased a new brush set from Morphe, by the way, which came with like all these brushes here, like for an eye set. And it's like the best thing ever because you have a brush for literally every need that you possibly could. Let's go into Celestial. And keep in mind, I have powder on my eye. I'm going to reset the eye. So let's see how this goes without wetting it with any MAC Fix Plus or anything. Alright, so that actually has like decent 
pay off. It's not like super intense, but that is pretty good. Okay, so that's not giving me the intensity that I want, so I am going to go in with some MAC Fix Plus. Still looks really good, but I want it to have more of a metallic look. So I'm just going to spray my brush and go in with Celestial and see if we can get that a little bit more metallic here. Oh yeah, that's so much better. That is purple. So I'm just going to flip my brush around so we just use this side primarily and I'm going to go in with the Wild Job which is that pink. And we'll see how this does without MAC Fix Plus first. This one is a little bit more glittery so I would suggest pressing this on first. But that is really pretty. Yeah, I'm going to try wetting this as well. Let's see how that goes. Let's see how that works out. Yeah, Mac Fix Plus just makes everything. People say you can use water for Mac Fix Plus, but I just don't find that that works the same. Because Mac Fix Plus actually has glycerin in it, and that really helps the shadows stick. So. I'm going to use this dry and just kind of tap over that pink where the purple meets so it's a nice um, even transition there. Oh my god, that looks so pretty. Mm, obsessed. So I'm just going to sweep away any fallout. There really isn't a lot of fallout if you can see. So that's really good, especially from metallic colors. That's really good. And I'm just going to go in and blend um, those other colors out just to make sure that we don't have any harsh lines. I'm going to take Dreamer and use that as an inner corner highlight. Using the Morphe M321 brush, it is like a just pencil brush, I guess. And I want to do something different with the under it, so I want to keep that very warm. So I'm going to go in with Eccentric. And we'll use that as our transition color underneath the eyes. Holy pigmentation. These are really easy to blend too, by the way. Like I feel like I really don't have to do a lot of work. And these are really pigmented too. Like some shadows you really have to build up. And so of course they're going to be easier to blend because if you have to build them up, like nothing's coming off so they should in theory blend a lot easier but for something so pigmented these blend out nice and easy and of course that is made easier by laying down a transition color first so keep that in mind I totally forgot to use the brush that it comes with so we'll just use that as like our blending brush here so we'll go in with the shade, maybe we'll use Drama, that was an intense purple color, and we'll go in with that on the outer V. With colors like this too, I'm going to put a little bit of this on the top. It's very easy to make it look like you have a black eye. So you don't really want... You want to be careful to press this color in so you don't get a ton of fallout under your eye because that's when you can start to look like you have a black eye because if you're getting fallout and if you just use this on the outer part of your eye it's going to make you look more awake on the inner corner because it's going to keep that nice and bright because it'll um, give you a contrast from dark to light. We'll just go back in with the brush that it comes with to blend out 
the new color we put on top here. I'm gonna try taking, I got a bunch of these NYX Vivid Bright Liners and I wanna try doing like, I don't know, something, something with this. Cause I want like more of a pink pop. Okay, so I just went ahead and applied some lashes off camera and then I did like this little liner situation thing. I did like a pink liner and then a little bit of white liner underneath. So that completes this look. I already have the rest of my face all done. Um, so final thoughts on this palette. I absolutely love this. Like I could see myself using this all the time. And this is a colorful palette, but it's still neutral. So I really, really like that about this palette. The metallics are so buttery. I do think you're going to get more payoff with MAC Fix Plus, but that's about every shadow. I think this palette was $42. Um, so it's a reasonable price range for this. a standard Anastasia um, palette price range, and you're getting 14 shadows. So I think that's a really good price. For the amount of shadows that you're getting they're super super creamy super pigmented um i really really like the colors of this palette i don't think there's a lot of purple palettes out there um and that are neutral as well too and you're getting the quality of an anastasia palette and gets the same thing if not better than the modern renaissance palette so if you have that and really enjoy that and want something with a different color screen oh my god my nose is dripping so bad and now it's pouring outside awesome so yeah that completes um this review um i really hoped that you all liked it um and please subscribe to my channel leave me a comment down below let me know what you guys want to see or what you would like to see more of or just give me some feedback on what i could do next i would really appreciate that um and yeah i'll see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye